In this paper, we begin by gathering a set of input context label, ICL, prompts for a specific task. These prompts are collected for a variety of tasks, including antonym generation, capitalization, country capital identification, English-French translation, present past verb inflection, and singular plural noun inflection. Next, we compute the average activation at the last token of each prompt at a particular layer of the model. This average activation is then added to the representation after the layer when the model completes a previously unseen zero-shot prompt. This process is known as an intervention. Following this, we measure the model's performance in executing the task in the new context. This is done by evaluating the accuracy of the model's predictions. For instance, if the task is to generate antonyms, we measure the accuracy of the model in producing antonyms in a zero-shot context. We then apply causal mediation analysis to identify attention heads with strong causal effects on predicting the correct answer. This involves computing the mean of task-conditioned activations for each attention head. From this, we extract function vectors, FVs, by summing the average outputs of the attention heads. These FVs are then tested for their portability by adding them to different layers of the model in shuffled label ICL prompts and zero-shot contexts. We evaluate the model's performance in executing the task with the added FVs. Furthermore, we evaluate the performance of FVs in executing the task in various settings, including natural text completions. This involves measuring the accuracy of the model's predictions with and without the added FVs. We also decode the FVs to token probability distributions and analyze the decoded vocabulary. This helps us understand the information encoded in the FVs. Finally, we test the compositionality of FVs by combining them with other FVs to create new function vectors for composed tasks. We evaluate the performance of these composed FVs in executing the composed tasks and compare them to the performance of the original FVs and ICL-based models. This comprehensive approach allows us to better understand the role and potential of function vectors in task execution.